Hey YouTube, it's Miles from Rexus Core coming at you with a new Luar deck profile. I finally built this deck and I, I love it. I thought we already had a Luar deck profile. That one doesn't count. <laughs> um, so, starter, Promising Knight, David. I have to go quick right here. This will be one of my last videos on the channel also for a while. Mm -hmm. um, Promising Knight, David, GB1 when he's retired. Forerunner, GB1 when he's retired. Um, he counts, he as, counts two. as two units. I don't really use this actually. You can try running Creeping Dark Goat. Don't run Root because Root's ass. Um, but this is more of just bait, like Link Choker or Narukami or Kagero see it, and they're like, I'll retire that and not your Grozne, which is actually important. So if you're targeting David in most situations, you're actually being stupid. Um, for Belial Owls, uh... $25 card. $25 card. Yeah. Um, so it's the crit and it's meta. Uh, it makes this deck great. Um, Make it great again. So in drop zone, GB1 Ritual 3, at the end of the turn, uh, at the end of my turn, um, or your turn, whatever. If you have a Vanguard with Lure in its card name, send this unit to the bottom of the deck. So recyclable crit. That's why you only need four crits in this deck. And um, it's retired. And then if it's retired by, uh, if it's retired for the effect, it's re if it's retired for the effect or cost of a card, if you have a Lure Vanguard, draw one. So it's a plus engine and you can recycle it. It's great. Then for Cursed Eye Raven, um, Oops. another recyclable stand. Uh, I mean, another recyclable trigger. So it's Act GB1. Um, when it's on rearguard, you can rest it, put it on top of your deck, shuffle your deck, look at the top two cards, and you can call um, up to both of them. Uh, the ones you don't call go on the bottom of the deck, and you have to call them as rest. So you can't just, like, use Raven, see another Raven, and then call it, use that Raven, and keep looping. Um, although you can kind of loop with this deck. It's great. Uh, it's really just to, like, deck thin, get out more retire targets... Uh, pump up Grozny. Pump up Grozny, <laughs> that's the biggest thing. Um, and at end of turn, the card's called Get Retired. So, one thing I learned is that if you use Raven, and you call it a Belial Owl, and you just don't retire the Belial, at end of turn when the Belial dies, you get to draw off of it, because it's being retired for the effect of a card. And because of that, you get to draw, and then you get to send it back to the bottom of the deck, provided you're at Ritual 3. Um, four heals, the cute foil one... Uh, I don't run the unflipping G guard, so I have no reason to run the um, the heals with skills. And for Howl Owl, you need draws. Um, the plus 3k is actually pretty nice when you're stacking power on top of Grozny, because when you call this, and if you give the 3k to Grozny, it counts as a plus 6 then. Um, and uh, the deck kind of draws are helpful. You also use soul with one of the main G units in the deck. So running a draw with a skill that shoves it into soul is great. Moving on to grade one. It's Markle. Yeah. Um, for Abyssal Owl, uh, when it's when it's placed on rearguard from hand, um, check the top seven cards of the deck for a Luard grade three, or just just a Luard, add it to your hand, and then discard cards from your hand whose total grades equal three. I don't actually use that skill very often, but if I have like a non-Luard grade three in hand before I ride, I will you know, sometimes call this, check top. Not sometimes, look you probably will call it. Yeah, you kind of, because this deck bricks if Luard isn't your vanguard. Uh, other than that, just play grade two stall game. Um, but it's other skills more, is what I use it more for. Um, Ritual three, when it's retired for the effect or cost of your Luard unit, uh, counter charge one. So a lot of skills in this deck become, like a lot of skills in this deck that are like retire are counter blast one as well. So, you're effectively, aside from retiring, you're using a free skill if you retire this. Uh, two, Black Chain Spirit Dance Formation Kaiden. I hate that name so much. Um, this is for the Diablo turns. It's GB1, when it's retired from rear guard, or when it's sent to the drop zone from rear guard, um, for the cost of your unit's ability. If you have a Diablo Vanguard, your <clears throat> Vanguard gains 5k and red tech skill. On hit, when it hits the Vanguard, search your deck for a grade one or lower? No, search your deck for up to one grade one and call it. Um, it also combos in with an unflip engine in this deck. And yeah, it's, it's, you, you can't really use it for anything else. It's just meant for the Diablo turn. Other than that, it's a ride target and just general retire fodder. One decipher of prohibited books, GB1 on call, counterblast one, call a grade zero from deck. So the turn you use stride skill, you can go like call, Call, use skill, uh, call, and then like Aura Geyser Doom, wipe out all three, draw and counter charge. So it's just nice to, you know, counter blast two and get three units on the field. 
um, only need a tech of one. Uh, speaking of techs, we run one Drag Wizard Knees. Uh, this is for counters like Link Joker, Kagero, Narukami, just stuff that retire or lock down. Um, what it does is that Ritual 3, when it's placed on Rearguard from deck, it gains 2k. So call it, you know, behind a 7k and it's a 16k column, uh, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> but the other skill is that um, GB1, Counter Blast 1, during the turn, it, uh, after it boosts, uh, retire the unit it boosted, or retire the unit in the same column as this unit, and you get to draw. So I can pump up my Grozne, and I don't want it to be locked or anything, so I'll just, after the Grozne attacks for like, 51 or something, um, or 58, boosted by this, uh, I'll just retire it off and draw, so my opponent, like, has, they can't lock my front row, so I can just call new Grozny's next turn, and rinse and repeat. You can also put it behind your Vanguard and retire itself, if you really want to draw and have an open field. That's actually true, yeah. But how often do you put stuff behind your Vanguard? Right, so. you don't boost the Vanguard in this game, in this deck. Uh, I run one Blackwing Swordbreaker, on call from deck, Soul Blast one draw, if I have a Shadow Paladin Vanguard. She's just a nice plus one to my hand, the it's, turn that I, with stride skill. It's Dindrain. Yeah, it's, Go she's back good. to Dindrain. I remember Dindrain. Um, except Dindrain was more practical. Yeah. Two stride fodder. I only run six grade threes in this deck, and even though Luard's skill allows for free stride, you're not always going to be at ritual three by the time you do your first stride. In fact, if it's, if you get to stride first, then, um... No, that's not right, yeah. Yeah, if, it, you're, if you're the sec go player going second, you can't even use Ritual 3 of Luard, so you right. have to discard for Stride. Well, yeah, that's true, actually, yeah. Go. It's not um, the beginning of the ride phase. Because that's the beginning of, of ride phase, and you rode, so the beginning goes out, you're yeah. still in the middle. Uh, so I just run two Stride Fodder, because I have plenty of other grade ones already, like, I don't need to run more of the techs that I have, because the deck is so, like, lenient with, um... Uh, it's very... Uh, it, it flexible has, it with what I yeah, it recycles and it's very flexible with what I can call out from the deck. Um, so you only need two just for like the extra. It just helps you to stride when you need it. And four drag saver Ezra's PGs. So regular PG, I believe it can block rear guards. Nope, it has to be Vanguard. Oh well, who cares? Um, that's why you run dismal. You mean the rear guards that won't be there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you're running Shadow Paladin and you have rear guards, you're bad. Lamau. Um, that's actually just wrong because you want Grozny on field. <laughs> I know. Uh. But its other skill is when it's in the drop zone, act GB1 Ritual 3, pick another Drag Saver Ezra, send it to the bottom of your deck, and then retire one of your rear guards, bounce the Ezra back to hand. So you need to have two PGs in, de uh, in drop zone, uh, at least two, I mean, and you just get it, you just get to use it again. And then you can retire off Belial Owl, to, so you get to bounce a PG and draw, and then send the crit back. Um, that's Good really PG. it. Huh? Good PG. Good card. Definitely good card. Um, uh, there's a there's a cool little combo, because my next... Okay, so grade 2 lineup real quick is uh, Skull Witch Nemin. I run her to 1 of, just because like I don't want to see too many and I don't want to ride her. Mm -hmm. um, she is only 3k, so she sucks for offensive, but that's not the point of running her. Uh, she's on call, counterblast 1, discard a Shadow Powder from hand, and draw 2. So one strategy you can make is like early game when you don't need a PG, you call her, discard the PG, draw two, and then later in the game when you have another PG in drop zone and it kind of matters to have PGs in hand, you can just grab this back. Um, and she can be the retire target, because let's be honest here, what else is she good for? She can't attack, unless it's Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark Spirit. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you run Blaster Dark <clears throat> Spirit, Lamau? No, speaking of 10Ks, uh, I run three Demon World Castle Iron Gang. This is kind of like, again, if you are if you don't see Luard, your best bet is to just grade two stall, and this is good because it's a wall that offsets Rush. Um, also, he's just a giant fucking robot castle, and I love him. Is he even a robot? I choose to believe so. Okay. Uh, four... You're using your imagination. That's, yeah, that's the whole like what you're game. supposed to do with Vanguard. Yeah. Uh, I run four Black Chain Dance Formation uh, Hoel. So this card is GB1. When your other grade one unit is placed onto rear guard, if you have a Diablo Vanguard, this card, and your Vanguard gain 3k, then if you called Kaiden, this one, um, you get to uh, counter charge one and soul charge one. So it's like an unflip engine. So these cards are like an unflip and power up engine. Uh during your um, Diablo turns. So, good card, counter charge engine is nice. It's effectively, it's a weaker Grozny. Speaking of Grozny, here's that marvelous old man. 
uh, Knight of Bron Grozny, GB1, whenever you call a card from deck hand whatever, uh, to rear guard that is grayed less than um, Grozny, so a one or a zero, or negative one if we get that, um, gains 3k. There are loops in this deck that involve using Raven, where you can buff Grozny up above like 60k. It's fantastic. I love him. The turn you the turn you do stride turn the turn you use uh, Luard stride. If you have Grozny on deck, you can you he's already sitting at 15. At least with a seven or a six k, that's 22, 21 respectively. <clears throat> okay, grade. Why don't um, you run Morfessa? You do not need Morfessa in this deck. <clears throat> I would love for people to tell me otherwise. Um, grade three is the main grade three. Dragheart Luard. So first skill is Ritual three on Vanguard. Um, choose two normal units from your drop zone and send them to the bottom of your deck. Uh, this ability can only be used at the beginning of your ride phase. For that turn, you can stride for free. So you get to recycle cards back into the deck like grade ones that you want a superior call. Um, and you just get free stride. It's just, it's so good. And then the other skill is on stride, counter blast one, retire one rear guard, call two grade, up to two grade one or lower rear guard, grade ones from deck. So it helps you set up your field, it combos in with his recycling ability, it's not ritual specific, it helps to fuel ritual, and you basically get all of your plays off with it. Um, off of your like initial setups. And then we run two, uh, Sharp Fang Witch Fodla, she's um, on call or on ride, counter blast one, uh, search your deck for up to two grade zero units and call them. So again, you get to set up your field with Belial's and Ravens. Like, that's... She just sets up. She's great. You don't want to run too many of her because you don't want to ride her, because then you're just screwed. Um, okay, so that's the main deck. Moving on to G units. We run one Ergon Vert, uh, Dark Knight Ergon Vert, for the people who complain about not, us not using the full name. Um, so it's the GB8 of the deck, and I love him. Uh, once per turn, act once per turn, GB8, counterblast one, choose up to five of your rear guards and retire them. For each unit retired, search your deck for up to one grade one card. It has to be grade one, or no, it's grade one or lower, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, because I, that's what I made, that's what I'm, that's the play I made earlier. Um, so search your deck for up to one, uh, grade one or lower card for each unit retired. Call it. Each of those called units gains plus 15k for the turn, and then for each unit you called, pick one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. So it clears the board, it gets you massive numbers, and if you use it properly, you can sack stands because you've been deck thinning because you're good at this game, um, and you're using this deck properly, and you just keep restanding 30 plus, you, you keep standing like 31k columns. Two uh, Dark Dragon Spectral Blaster Diablo. This is like the main finisher of the deck. Um, not the main G unit though. Uh, it's once per turn act Soul Blast one and retire one of your rear guards. This unit gains once per turn GB three Counter Blast two retire two of your rear guards after it attacked a Vanguard. Reast pay the cost, restand it, and it gains. Um, it loses two drive checks. So the idea is that like. Uh, again, you just keep sacking triggers because you've been deck thinning this whole time. Um, and believe me, it's shockingly easy to deck thin with this deck. Uh, and um, yeah, you just... It's its just a heavy hitter. You restand it. If you retire Kaiden... This this is the Diablo that you want to use um, Hoel and Kaiden combos on. Uh, because you can use Hoel to keep stacking power onto this unit. So you can have like a 40 plus um, G unit that's attacking twice. Uh, two Dark Dragon Phantom Blaster Diablo. I really don't use this card, which is why it's only at a two of. But like, if your opponent has a little, has a like, a low field count or no field, then you can either screw them over by getting rid of their rear guards or um, just straight up auto winning. It's good uh, for it's, the mirror match. Yeah, good for mirror match too. It's um, Counter Blast Act Counter Blast one once per turn and flip a copy of itself. It gains 10k and a crit and the skill when it attacks. Retire three of your rear guards. If your opponent does not retire two of their rear guards, they cannot guard. So if they only have one rear guard, then they and you use the skill, they automatically can't guard, except with G guards. Um, yeah, so good card. Uh, here's the main G unit. They can deck. also choose not to retire. Yeah, you have the option not to retire. So if you're at but three damage, you maybe give it a shot. But like, yeah, you can't guard otherwise. So um, 
two supremacy black dragon aura guys are doomed. Uh, I love this card. Uh, act once per turn, counter plus one, choose, um, flip a regular aura geyser face up. Uh, retire three of your rear guards, check the top two cards of your deck, and for each grade one or lower card, retire one of your opponent's rear guards. Then, if you have th at least three face up regular aura geyser in, um, the G zone, this card gains a crit. I do not use it for the crit, I use it for just getting retire skills off, uh, plusing hand, and killing off my opponent's field. Speaking of Aura Geyser, I run three Supremacy Black Dragon Aura Geyser Dragon. This is the regular one. You don't actually use it for the skill. You use it for the flip cost of Aura Geyser Doomed. But I'll read the skill anyway so people don't get upset. Um, on attack, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, uh, f um, GPB, so flip a copy of itself, retire two of your rear guards, check the top two cards of your deck. For each grade one or lower card, they uh, this unit gains 5k, and then you add those cards to the hand. So it's like... It's not as good as Doomed, and it has very little practicality in this deck. Except maybe against control decks. Against control decks, sure. Um, yeah, because you can, like, attack with your big Grozny columns and then retire it. So it's situational. If you don't want be them helpful. locked. Really. Yeah. yeah it's, it's just if you don't want your field to get locked down. Um, one Dark Dragon, Carnivore Dragon. This, uh, I've actually used this quite a bit, like, when I don't have Counter Blast, but I still need to, like, flip or just get off skills, like, combos. Um, it's, That's how you can get counter blast if you exactly. Off of so I'll swallow. show you. Yeah. So um, it's a uh, act. Uh, just retire. No, no cost. Well, no counter blast. Just retire one rear guard. Um, if your opponent does, your opponent has to retire two of their rear guards. And if they do not, pick three units. Um, pick up to three units in your front row, and they each gain four k. So if your opponent only has, if your opponent has only two rear guards, they have to retire them. Um, if they have three, it's their choice of what two they want to retire, and if they, um... They have one, they still have to retire the one. If they have one, they, yeah, they still have to retire it, and because they didn't retire two, you still get the plus to your field. And let's say you retire Abyssal Owl, you just retired one rear guard, and you got to counter charge, because if it's on Luard, um, you get to counter charge off of Abyssal. So, if you don't have any counter blast to use Stride Skill, or, like, to use Doomed or something, go into this, go into this card... Call it an abyssal. Retire the abyssal. Now you have counter blasts. There you go. Um, and then I run one air element sea breeze for you know if my opponent uh, unlocking GB one actually isn't that helpful in this deck because you kind of need to have well that's not actually true because you can use your ravens you raven plays and uh, stack up Grozny still but like the main practicality of it is just to punish grade stall or grade lock. Um, you you it's the flip target for spectral. Right? And yeah, it's another flip target. My bad. I meant to say that earlier i always forget about this spectral blaster uh diablo has to flip another g unit so the reason why i run three aura geyser is that for each one one aura geyser is a flip target for one spectral and then the sea brace is the other flip target for the other spectral so there you go um for those of you who don't know sea breeze it's um while it's in g zone you can counter blast two and discard one if your opponent is at grade two you are at grade three and your opponent did not ride last turn um, you can stride with this by paying its cost, not stride cost. Um, so, yeah, you get to punish grade lock and grade stall. Uh, my, one of, just, this, I love this G guard, it's so great. Uh, plot, I know, Dark Dragon, Plot Maker Dragon, um, when you guard with it, just straight up Ritual 3 plus 10k shield. So, that's it. 36k. Um, and then one Dark Knight Ludwig, uh, when you guard with it, pick up to one of your grade one or less, or less yeah, it says, or less cards, uh, and move it to the Guardian Circle. No, you cannot have a PG on rear guard and move it to Guardian Circle and PG, because the words move and place are two different things. Um, but again, it helps to fuel ritual. And then one Dark Element Dismal, when you guard with it, pick one of your rear guards. It cannot be attacked, it cannot be retired, period, for the turn. So, you know, use it to protect Grozny, because Grozny is super important in this deck. Um, yeah, so, uh, I mean, you could ditch a Ludwig for another plot maker. Uh, so, that's the deck. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, tell me to run more Fessa so I can tell that you're bad at this, t I can tell you you're bad at this game. Um, leave a like, donate to our Patreon if you want us to build decks, because we will build any deck that you request, provided you give us the money. Um... 
I prob there are going to be a ton of Luard related fight videos coming out before or after this, so those should be fun. I win a lot of them and then get scraped in others. Um, shout out to my pal Dom for hooking me up with the cash to build this deck. Uh, that's it. I probably won't have a lot of videos on here after a while because Richard's going to college, so... Going I'll back. see going back to college. So I'll see y'all in like November, December. Peace out, YouTube.